Hi, Laura Jacob here, and for this What to Expect series, what we want to talk about is briefly at the elementary uh, school when it comes to pick up and drop off and a few adjustments that we made just to ensure student safety. So I'm going to walk you through what to expect. There's only a few minor adjustments, but we just want to make sure everybody's clear to ensure absolute student safety when it comes to pick up and drop off. And students, I'm going to be using this phone on a closed course. Please do not use your cell phones while you're driving. So let me take you around and show you what to expect. For elementary dismissal, one of the minor revisions that we're going to make is you're going to see all of the buses in their bus lane. And so from 3 o'clock until approximately 312, 315, you will notice that all the buses will go first before we start dismissing students here in the driving lane. So if you're coming to pick up your child, Please know that all of the students that are riding a bu the bus will be permitted to leave first, and the buses will go first. This ensures that we have no students crossing that bus lane and uh, potentially causing a serious issue when it comes to having students walk in front of a bus. So we want to ensure everyone's safety. And We'll start the lanes here. We'll have the double lanes just as we have had in the past. And we'll ask that those double lanes get established all the way back to that back stop sign. And then we'll carry it over to the other side. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. So we'll have a double lane established right here down this line, just as we have had in the past. And we ask that drivers that you carry on up until this stop sign. But what we do ask is that you do not park or line up in this one lane area because this is where the buses are going to leave. And because they're going to leave first, we have to ensure that this section is clear. So if you are a driver, and for example, if we utilize my car, if you're a driver and you notice that the double lanes are full up until the stop sign on the other side, we ask that you stop and we'll establish a double lane over here in the second section right where that stop sign is. That allows the buses to leave easily through the route that they need to leave. And it also will establish a calm, cool, controlled order when it comes to dismissal. We really appreciate your understanding as we work through this and try to streamline the process. We just want to ensure that we don't have children running in front of buses or perhaps in front of cars. And so we do appreciate your patience at the very start of the school year until we get into a system and a routine. Um, and we hope that this will streamline the process as well as ensure your child's safety. Thank you so much.